Hello people and today I'm going to show you how to use Action Context Menu. So Access Contact Menu is supposed to be a social interaction feature that is another way to interact with other players. And so as you can see I can click on a player and then I can just, uh, you can private chat, you can view their status and I can wave to other players. Now this will be actually useful for using for trading or other stuff. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to use Avatar Contacts Menu. So yeah, enjoy! <laughs> Alright, so how to actually use Avatar Context Menu is we're going to do is we're going to go to the local script and then we're just going to write out a simple function because it's going to call wait and then put a semicolon which is a game dot start to GUI colon set call and then I'm just going to pull out a string which is the Avatar Context Menu enabled. I'm going to set it to true so make sure we have avatar context menu enabled is true otherwise it will never work by the way i'll put a dev forum link in the description below if you want to see this set core but by the way here is the actual string that i actually use so yeah as you may see i am right here and if i click on this player as you can see it shows the player and i can add a friend i can private chat him and i can view their character but it has a unvalid username so i'm testing it on a local server and I can also wave to them. But Avatar Context Menu also have good options that you can use. But we can use is the Avatar Context Menu Target. So I'm going to show you how to use that. So to do it is actually quite simple. Uh, we can just uh, put a wait for 3 seconds. And then I'm going to make a print statement which is going to say activate. And then I'm just going to say game.starterGUI colon set core. And then I'm going to copy the string called the avatar context menu target. And then we're just going to put on is the player. So we can say game.players.local player. So we're going to get the target and we need a player. So we need the actual player to get the target from. And you can see if I join in and wait for three seconds. And as you can see, it activates. And we got forcefully opened up the avatar context menu. So yeah. Now you may notice you can also add avatar context menu options so but there are two options one is they have avatar context menu option which we can friend, send a friend request we can chat the server like a private chat and we can email them or you can make it as a table but this will be a little advanced but you gotta really stick with me for a second so yeah you can also add options but you can also remove so the context menu option which is can be a, a an enum dot text menu option or a table these are the options for the avatar context menu so i'm going to show you how to make your option and i'm going to show you how to remove them now first off i'm going to do is i'm just going to make a force target player for a second so as you can see wait for three seconds and as you can see i have made an option called test if i click on it and you can see it prints out this statement called Anabot click on Anabot. It's because we have fired a function that we absolutely force clicked them and I just clicked the button. Now you think this is easy, but you may notice that if I want to remove it, I just want to remove the option. So we could say game.start.gui colon set core and then we're just going to copy this string called the remove avatar context menu option. And then this option is going to be very simple. You can put on enum dot avatar context menu option dot uh, we can remove the chat because you don't want a private chat email because you don't want to emote or you can also remove your own option by putting this string value right here. So as you can see. Uh, I have managed to remove the emote and my test button. Now finally is the visual customization. Now this is supposed to be changing for your appearance of your avatar context menu, which will be the avatar context menu theme. This is the actual carousel aka the, the theme of it. So you can just change the name tag, you can change the button frame, you can change the buttons. And now here are the parameters, so I'm not going to read everything, but I will link this one in the description below. Now keep in mind, this is optional. You don't have to like customize your own thing. This is optional. You can just leave it right there. Leave it. You don't need this one, but this is optional. If you want to customize your own avatar context menu theme, just do it right here. So 
I know it's very confusing, but the comments are just optional. And I'm just gonna like explain through the whole thing actually. So let's go ahead and test it out, shall we? So this is my own. You can just pause the video and just copy mine or just do your own. So as you can see, you will see that I have made my own. It looks super terrible, not gonna lie, but it's just my own uh, thing that I want to test around with. So I'm just gonna leave it right here and then I'm gonna show you the code that what it actually tells and what does it do to the GUI and the avatar context menu so you can just customize your own. So yeah. yeah that is all for today's video so if you like it please make sure you subscribe and like this video if you enjoy it but anyways i'll see you in the next video peace out